Hello, this is Dave Compatore, Technology Development Scientist at Lumetrix. I'm going to go over the Lumetrix Scan software, particularly the fixture profile and the recipe creation. Uh, what I find though is the first thing that uh, you should do is you should get into the manual control and move the stages around in vertical, lateral, rotational, and horizontal until you have a signal where you want to start your, your scan from. Uh, we can go over that in more detail maybe in another video, uh, but let's say we've I've done that already, uh, and you use the jog buttons, and you pick your axis, and you can get your signal in place. Okay, so let's go now over to the scan menu, where we're going to look at the fixture profile. Uh, I'm going to click edit, because I've already made this one, uh, and I give it the name of a DCC INST. Uh, the the way you use this is you use this middle get button to get the position that you're at where you have the good signal, where you want to start your scan. So you click that, it'll populate these four positions, uh, and then you're basically ready to go. You do have to add a little bit of range from the minimum to the maximum uh, so that you can do, so you do all your movements. Uh, if you don't add enough there it'll tell you in the recipe and you'll have to add more. Uh, I just go through and put large numbers in such that I get the maximum movement every time. If you're worried about crashes you can limit that a little bit. Normally you don't have to worry about crashes if you have a nice tube that you're measuring. Okay so you've done your get, you gave it a little bit of movement uh, space and you just hit save and overwrite fine uh, it's ready to go. You hit load, you're loading. When, it, when you load, it will take a moment and move into position. When it's in position, it says it's ready, and that means you're ready to now look at part recipes. So part recipes, again, I already started one, and it can be the same name, DCC INST, uh, and we'll actually we'll edit it, and I'll show you what uh, Actually, I'm going to add a few instructions here because this is what I wanted to show you mostly. Uh, so you give it the name, which is up here, DCC INST, uh, video demo, and I've selected a uh, uh, template that will accept the data and do some analysis. That could also be another video. Uh, if you have the STMS, you won't be, most likely you won't be using the digital inputs. If you have the Lumetra scan, you, you probably will be. Uh, okay, so this section here, it's uh, the OCC stuff. And if you set everything up with the OCC, great. The only thing you should do then is import the hardware settings by clicking on that button and you're ready to go. Okay, let's move over to layer configuration. You can name each layer, top uh, layer. air gap if you have a tube. So it's the top of the tube, air gap, and bottom of the tube. There you go. Uh, the other thing you can do is give everything an index of refraction. If you know the actual glass index, you put it in here. 1.5 is a pretty good starting guess. 1 is great for air, and 1.5 again for the bottom glass. Okay, and then the other thing, you can give another offset. If for some reason you don't want to start at the fixture profile offset, you can put a different offset in. Uh, but uh, I recommend just clicking this set offset so that it just simply matches the fixture profile and you don't have to think about it. Uh, but it is there if you want to do a different one. Okay, now this is where uh, the bulk of uh, uh, the action happens in the recipe rows you're going to add movements uh, to the stages and you're going to tell it whether or not to collect data during those movements. So for example, if you're scanning a tube, you usually start with a uh, lateral move, right? So lateral is perpendicular to the tube and you uh, go ahead and what I do is I move half the scan over and I do that 
relatively quickly, so four mil millimeters per second and a distance of 1.5 millimeters because I'll do a three millimeter scan, right? So, so three millimeters, move over a half a millimeter and then scan a full three millimeters and somewhere in that middle of that three millimeters will be the peak of the tube. Uh, you don't have to collect data there and you don't have to give it a scan ID. Uh, but now you're ready to do a, your scan lateral movement, which will be very slow, so 0.25 millimeters per second. You'll do a full, and you'll actually do a negative 3 millimeters, and you'll collect data, and you'll give it a uh, scan ID of 1. That scan ID is important because that goes into the, uh, uh, the report template, and it tells you that's the data for scan 1. Okay, now you're actually ready to move along the tube in the vertical, I'm sorry, in the horizontal direction now. Uh, let's say you want to move 10 millimeters down the tube and get another point. Great, we're moving, uh, and you can move that quickly, right? So 10 millimeters per second, 10 millimeters. Takes a second. Now you're not going to collect any data, and so you don't need a scan ID or a probe, and you don't need a range. We'll get into the range in a second. Okay, and now you're ready to do another scan. So this is another lateral scan, and you don't have to move horizontally anymore. You're already at your horizontal, the, your new horizontal position, but you can now scan slowly in the positive three millimeter direction. You're going to collect data again, and you're going to give it a scan ID of two and a probe of one, and uh, just. We don't have a range yet, but uh, again, I'll, I'll get back to that. Okay, so you're collecting data at this scan, you're collecting data at this scan, and now let's say you want to look at, in the same position, you want to look at 90 degrees to this uh, scan you just took. That's, you can do by doing a rotation. And you can do that quickly, 12 degrees per second. You can go 90 degrees, and but you're not going to, no reason to take data. Uh, you could if you wanted to, but I'm not going to take any data here. But now you'll be in position to do another scan. And again, the scan, you can do lateral, you'll do a lateral scan. So you're 90 degrees from where you were. You didn't move horizontally, but you're 90 degrees rotated. Uh, and you're actually ready to go ahead and take a slow scan where you collect data, but now you want to do a negative three. So you have to, uh, when you're doing a, a tube and you're scanning back and forth, you got to do negative, positive, negative, positive, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but you're going to collect data. That'll be data point three, and it'll be the first probe. And we only have one probe. Typically, you only have one probe on a, an STMS or other metric scan. You could have more. Uh, okay, and you can see how you can just stack a bunch of these together, you know, many different horizontal positions, many different rotations, scan, 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 and lateral to get the data, uh, and that all builds up into your template. Okay, so, but what do you do, how do you, how do you deal with that data? One way to deal with that data is to add a range. So we got range down here is, is where you put in the specification ranges. So we're going to work with range one here. Uh, I'm going to say there's three layers because it's a uh, tube, top, middle, bottom, three layers. Uh, and what you get now is you get threshold max, spec max, nominal, spec min, threshold min. So let me just go ahead and start putting in some data here. So the threshold max 1.1. So anything greater than 1.1 is going to be ignored. Uh, or at least won't go into the filtered data. You'll have it in the unfiltered data, but it won't go into the filtered data. And then the spec max, we'll call it 1.0. So now anything below 1.0 uh, and between the spec min will be considered in spec. Uh, the nominal is 0.9. And we'll just say for the minimum is 0.8. 
and for the threshold minimum, so what are you going to throw out that's too small? We'll just go 0.7. So we're keeping it simple there. Uh, so that's the top wall has to fall between 1 and 0.8 to be in spec, but it has to fall between 1.1 and 0.7 to go past the unfiltered data and get into the filtered data. Uh, okay, so now let's look at the air gap. That Again, that's much thicker. It turns out that uh, we're going to go with a nominal of 8, but that means we want to start at a total thickness where you uh, get data recorded below that thickness of 12. And we'll do 11 as in spec. We'll do 8 as in nominal. We'll do uh, 7 as in the low end of the spec. And we'll do uh, 6 as anything below 6 we just won't bring into the filtered data. It's still in the unfiltered data, but not in the filtered data. Okay, and then it turns out because it's a symmetric wall, we'll just go ahead and reproduce our uh, spec for layer one and layer three. If I can type correctly, and there you there you have it. We have our specs in place that we can use for any place where we collect data. And you want to give it and you want to give it that that range. So range one. So this is where I'm specifying, right? I'm collecting data at row number two. I need it to compare to range one. I'm collecting data at row number four. And again I want to do it at uh, range one. And row six. And again I want to compare to the specs in range one. Uh, now you can imagine if the center was thicker uh, and the walls got thicker, you could change it and make that spec two. Uh, and then it could come back down if you go past that thicker section. Uh, you, you can do up to five different ranges uh, in the standard configuration. Uh, and then this recipe is ready to be used to do a scan. Uh, what you want to do then is go to File, Save, and it says it already exists and do you want to uh, uh, overwrite? Uh, in this case you do because I added all the important information now. And it is now saved and ready to be used. You can either close it or minimize it and go back to loading it. Again it loads, it's going to move to whatever offset you told it since we told it the same as the fixture profile, it didn't have to move far. Uh, and you are ready to start a work order. There you go. You can click your measure butter button and start your scan. All right. Again, this is David Compator. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully, you'll uh, come and watch my next video. Bye for now.